we start writing? In morning time, we discuss about unbalanced chemical and equation in balanced chemical equation. Next one, heat and succeed method or heat and trial method. That is the method of balancing the chemical equation. You have to remember. Uh, now, there is presentation from Arina. So, Arina is absent today. But uh, I hope she might have already sent the slides. So, I am going to present from her side. Let's check whether uh, the slide has come or not. Krishna Pura Saini, Nirajan, Nirajan, Avisa, Amrit, BRS, Social Arina Gubaju. No subject. Presentation work is given here. Okay, in presentation work, what is mentioned? Uh, first of all, let's download. After downloading, we can find out whether there is a or not. Chemical reaction uh, 1 is given. Okay, so from current slide, um, it is same by Arina, right? Arina should do this one, but in our absence, I'm going to do Okay, so check it out. Yeah. What happened? Animation. Animation, but why is it looking like this? Okay, I think uh, there is heading. What is the heading? Information obtained from a balanced chemical equation. Information obtained from a balanced chemical equation. One chemical equation is given. What is the chemical equation? CH4 methane. What is this? Methane plus oxygen 2O2. It gives carbon dioxide plus 2H2O. Now you find out whether it is balanced or not. Here are four carbon, sorry, hydrogen, here also four hydrogen. What is the four oxygen? Two plus two, four oxygen. One carbon, one carbon. Right? So it is balanced chemical equation. And heat and trial or heat and success method. So what are the informations obtained from a balanced chemical equation? Number one. What is given here? It shows, shows SHO double, right? How many atoms of different elements are present in each reactant and product? Elements of carbon, carbon is one, hydrogen are four, oxygen are four in the reactant. In product, carbon one, oxygen two plus two, four, hydrogen also four. Balanced chemical equation means number of atoms of elements are equal in both sides, left hand side and right hand side. Number second, what are the reactants and products of this chemical equation? What are the reactants here? Methane and oxygen. Reactants are methane and oxygen. Products are carbon dioxide and hydrogen. Carbon dioxide and hydrogen. What type of chemical reaction is this? Balance. So, this is balanced chemical reaction. But actually, uh, we have to learn the types of chemical reaction. Four types of main chemical reactions are there. Combination reaction, decomposition reaction, displacement reaction, acid-base reaction. We have not discussed about that in class 9. We need to remember. Okay, that will be discussed in grade 10. This is displacement reaction. What is the second one? What are the informations can be, what are the informations, so what is it? What informations can be conveyed from this equation? It says that one molecule of methane reacts with two molecule of oxygen and one molecule of carbon dioxide and two molecule of water are found. So, such time. So, next, what is here? Symbols and formula of reactants and products. So, these are reactants, these are products. It's given. 
Why did she give two to times? The total number of atoms or molecules of reactants and products. 1 plus 2, 3 molecules are here. How many molecules? How three? This whole is one molecule. And this here is there are two molecules. Three molecules form one molecule plus two molecules. How many? Three. Three molecules react together and form three molecules of other compounds. Type of chemical reaction, I just said. The ratio of masses of reactants and products. What is the ratio? 1 is to 2. What is the ratio of their masses? Is here 1 is to 2. Ratio of methane and oxygen is 1 is to 2. How? Here is 1 part CH4, 2 part oxygen. Here also 1 part carbon dioxide, 2 part hydrogen, uh, of water. So ratio of reactant is 1 is to 2. Ratio of product is also 1 is 2. Name of reactant and products. Which are the reactants here? Reactants. Methane, oxygen, products, carbon dioxide and hydrogen, water. <coughs> now, information conveyed by a chemical equation to a discuss. Now we are going to discuss about limitations of chemical equation. What are the limitations? What it can do, what it can do, right? What is the first limitation? Equations cannot tell the physical state. Physical state means whether solid, liquid or gas. And concentration, whether they are 100% pure or less pure of reactants and products. Chemical equation is there, like I can write here H2 plus O2 and here H2O. Is there any physical state shown? Is it solid, liquid or gas? Here is given? It's not given, no? That's why it does not tell us the physical state, it does not tell us the concentration. Second number? Yeah, so balanced chemical equation doesn't tell us that within how much time the reaction will be completed and whether it is faster or slower, we don't know. Rate also we don't know and time also we don't know. Third number, what does it say? Does not state whether the reaction occurs by itself or some conditions are required. So, then no any conditions are given here. If given, if condition is given like that, uh, H2 plus S, if this symbol is given, then it is called heat. What do you call? Oh, we have to heat the reaction, then we will get product. Condition is given. But here, no any condition mentioned. Whether it takes place itself or condition. For example, I can write here H2 plus Cl2. HCl. Is it balanced? No. Not balanced, right? How to balance? H2 yeah, into this one. But H2 plus Cl2, HCl. What are you given here? Light. So, this chemical reaction takes place in presence of light. But he, here we can say which condition is required. But here we don't know which condition is required. Okay. Point, point number four. Reaction is either or either explosive or not. That cracker wala reaction is explosive or not. Some jallu are there. They take one chakra and say, let me roll. Vishnu ko chakra, yes sir? Yes. And this is my one hand, and they go, and that both hand guy, shoot a wire. They do not care, and they suffer. That's why, when we very careful, also, minor, minor things also becomes major. So, what is your duty? Why are you here? How to practice? How to be more champion, you think? Okay, miss, keep your hand down. Make back when you straight. Backside very lovely, well. Right now, you 
do not maintain your position and lay down for the next day. Number five. Does not tell that chemical reaction will start immediately or we don't know whether it takes place immediately or it takes some time. These are the limitations. What is the first limitation? Does not show physical state and concentration. Does not tell whether some um, I mean, the weather, if it takes place uh, fast or slow, next one, whether there is need of some conditions or not, and whether the reaction is expensive or not, or whether chemical reaction will start immediately or not. These are the limitations. I think these two headings were given to us. Come now, oh, why? What happened? Finish. Thing is also there. That's why it's coming out slowly. Limitation discuss. Now, what is next one? The importance of chemical reaction in our daily life. Oh my God! What are the different importances here? What is the first one? Plants prepare food by chemical reaction. What is the chemical reaction? Carbon dioxide and water react together. What do you form? Oxygen plus C6 H12O6 plus nothing on this one. Then. Yes, sir. This is photosynthesis. But here should be presence of chlorophyll and light, right? Sunlight. Second importance many important chemical reactions affect our daily life as they come under for excretion, circulation, respiration, digestion, chemical reaction takes place. Third one. Chemical reaction helps to solve crimes and explain mystery. Yeah. If there is any crime, the police collects different things, evidences, and carries out some experiments. So, fourth one. We respire oxygen that keeps us alive as it metabolizes food to eat food which uh, we eat, which is digested by a series of chemical reactions. So, food. Especially during respiration, C6 as 12O6 plus O2. It gives carbon dioxide, water, and what is there? What is this? Energy, right? Fifth one the energy released by the oxidation of food during respiration can be used by our cells to carry out most of processes needed for life by pumping sodium and potassium across the membrane which is due to chemical action. So, N, A, N, K, sodium and potassium pump means these ions, sodium ion and potassium ion move from one cell to another and help to transfer energy after chemical reaction. Chemical reaction takes place inside the cell of our body. Where? Inside the cell of our body. Cooking, eating, seeing, hearing, exercising, initiate metabolism, which is more or less group of chemical reactions. Including food also chemical reactions. Whenever there is chemical change, chemical reaction. In what kind of that utensil you can cook? Cooking means we can cook any utensil. It might get reactive with this. No, no. Actually, you know, we cannot cook in the utensil which is made of plastic. It melts very fast. In metallic only we can cook. If it are non-metallic, it will be quite difficult. Some they may prepare food in uh, soil items also. Matagavana. But we cannot cook rice over there. So, good conductors are required for cooking food because there is conduction. Three methods of transition which are 
conduction, convection, and radiation. What is six number? Hello, Helen. Many medicine, drugs, insecticide, fragrance, compounds, dyes, paints, solvents, fertilizer, plastics, textiles, etc. Uh, right? Useful to what is it? mankind are manufactured using many chemical reactions. We use different type of chemicals. In our daily life, they are made by chemical reaction. They are the source of energy production. When methane, ethane, propane, they burn with oxygen, they release energy. And chemical reactions, therefore, are very important in every aspect of life of human and other living beings. So, our life will be incomplete in absence of chemical reaction. When we eat food, the food reaches in our stomach, elementary candle, small intestine, large intestine, and different type of chemical reaction take place, and the food is converted into simpler and soluble form. Useful thing is absorbed, hopeless thing is thrown in the form of wood. Dung. Wood also useful, what do you do? Fertilizer, that is different matter, so you keep it around. No, your fertilizer, you call it human drum. Fertilizer, no, 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 no. You can dry and cook food also, that is also okay. The cow dung is made dry and cook food, right? Next, Next day, she will uh, do a bit harder type and face on the wall also. What are you doing? I am making my dung cake. Why? For cooking. Sit down correctly, miss. Keep the bag at the center. That's it. Keep three bags also, no problem. Go that side. Miss. Miss Tara, miss. Keep that center. <coughs> now, finally, we are discussing about two types of reactions. What are they? Endothermic reaction and exothermic reaction. Two types of reaction are what are they? Exothermic and endothermic. Indo, indo means we supply heat to them. Some chemical reactions take place when we supply heat to them. That is called endothermic reaction. And there are some chemical reactions in which heat is produced at the end, they are called endothermic, exothermic. For example, S2 plus S. Make your concept clear. Eh? I just said endothermic or exothermic. Whether endothermic or exothermic, there must be either it is absorbed or released. Is it Endothermic or exothermic reaction? Is it given here any heat? Then how can you say? Is it endothermic or exothermic? Is it given here heat? No. Then how can you say? For endothermic and exothermic reaction, there must be presence of heat. Now, if heat is present here, this is endothermic reaction. Get us, pay attention here. If it is supplied to the chemical equation, uh, supplied to the reactions and product is formed, that is called endothermic reaction. What is that? Endothermic. But at the end of chemical reaction, if it is produced, what is it called? Endothermic reaction. This is endothermic reaction. What is this? Exo. What is the definition here? Is the chemical reaction in which heat is released to the surrounding is produced. You have got gas stove, burn it, it burns and it is produced. Candle burns and it is produced. That is exothermic reaction. It is released to the surrounding. But if it is absorbed from the surrounding, if we have to supply heat while cooking food, we have to heat that material or not? Yes, sir. Without heating, will it be cooked? No, no. So that type of chemical reaction is called endothermic reaction. Exo, exo, and endo. So I think 
that is the end of presentation of element oh my god what is this thank you yeah thorium nitrogen potassium yttrium oxygen uranium right wow yttrium see here is 8 means it it's uh, atomic number is 39 potassium uranium what a lovely lovely size there right and so you just say i have one lovely photo also this is thank you everyone thorium nitrogen potassium yttrium oxygen and uranium yeah even though she is absent she has made very lovely slides give a big round of applause for her my friends it's your turn to make note in your own way i have reminded many times great people don't do different things they do the things differently or in different ways come on